Hello, I'm Maria. I'm a student here. Good morning. My name's Dan. I'm a new student here. Nice to meet you, Dan. Where are you from? I'm from Sao Paulo in Brazil. Where are you from, Maria? I'm from Bolivia. Is Spanish your first language? Yes, it is. What's your first language? Portuguese is my first language. What's your major, Dan? My majors are English and history. Great! We're classmates. Hello, I'm Sarah. What's your name? Hi, I'm Pedro. I'm from Peru. Really? I'm from Argentina. Are you a student here? Yes. My majors are French and English. I speak French too. I also speak Chinese. Wow. What are your majors? My majors are English and law. I'm Colombian and I'm a student. My room is in college. It's a big modern room, but it's noisy. Students are noisy. My house is big and old. It's my mom and dad's house. There's a bed, a closet, and a desk in my room. I'm from Brazil. I live in my brother's apartment in Sao Paulo. It's not very big, and my room is small. My house is modern and ugly, but it's next to my college. My home is a big modern apartment. There's a living room, a beautiful bedroom, and a big kitchen. It's great. Hi, I'm Pete. I'm your Spanish teacher. Where are you from? Hello, I'm Jane. I'm from Canada. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. Where's your apartment? It's in Mexico City. It's a big old apartment in Condesa. It's on a quiet street. Isn't it noisy? No, it isn't. Do you have a good job, Lisa? Yes, I do. I'm a teacher. I love my job. What about you, Paolo? I'm a doctor. Well, I'm a student doctor. That's great. Where do you work? At the hospital? Um, no. I don't work. I study at the university, but I often go to the hospital. And you? I work at a school in the city. I have three classes. They are all very big. In my grade 9 class, there are 30 children. Wow! Do you get up early to go to school? Yes, I do. I get up at 7 a.m. I take a shower and then I eat my breakfast at 7.30. I go to work at 8 a.m. What about you? Do you get up early to go to class? No, I don't usually get up early. From Monday to Thursday, my classes start at 9 a.m., and my apartment is next to the university, so I get up at 8.30. But on Fridays, my first class starts at 8 a.m., so I always get up early then. I don't like Fridays. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. I work in London, in the city. In the morning, I usually get up at 5.30 a.m. I take a shower and I have breakfast. I always go to work by car. I start work at 7 a.m., I like my job. I work in a big office. 
after work, I often go to a restaurant for dinner with my friends, or we see a movie. In the evenings, I usually watch TV or read a book. On Friday evening, I go to my German class. I study German at home on the weekend. Hi, I want some information about the city tour, please. Sure. How can I help you? Well, what places do you visit on the tour? The tour goes to museums and important places in the city. Great. So where does the tour start? Outside our office on Main Street, across from the bus station. The tour also finishes there. That's good. When does the tour start? We meet in front of the bus station at 9:30 a.m. The tour starts at 10 a.m. So the next one is tomorrow morning, Tuesday, at 10. Where do I buy tickets? You can buy them from me or on the bus. Many people buy them on the bus. How much do the tickets cost? The tickets cost fifteen dollars for adults and eight dollars for children and students. That's fine. I want two tickets for students, please. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Excuse me, where's the history museum, please? It's near the university. Do you want to walk there? Is there a bus? Sure. The bus station is across from the park. How do I get there? Go straight ahead and turn left at the end of Main Street. The bus station is on the corner of that street. Great. Thanks. Where do I buy the ticket for the bus? You can buy the ticket from the driver on the bus. Thanks for your help. No problem. Hi, Jorge. How are you? I'm fine, Luisa. What are your plans for this weekend? I'm not sure. The weather is bad. It's rainy and cold. I think I'm staying at home. I can bake a cake or draw some pictures. How about you? I don't know. I want to ride my horse, but it's very cold. I have a karate class on Sunday. You can do karate? Yes, I love it. I can play the piano too, and I can dance salsa. Wow. You have a lot of hobbies. I can play an instrument, but I can't do karate. But I love salsa too. Really? Do you want to meet on Saturday? We can go to my salsa class. Is it expensive? No, it's cheap. What time is the class? The class is at 7 p.m. It's in town near the park. Do you want to meet at the bus station at six o'clock? Okay, that's great. See you on Saturday then. Bye. I do a lot of hobbies. In good weather, I can go out and ride my horse on the beach. Then I can go swimming in the ocean too when it's sunny. When the weather is cool, I stay at home. I play an instrument. I play the piano. I can bake a cake when it's rainy or make food for my friends. I can also draw pictures. I'm not very good at drawing. I draw pictures of people and animals. I also want to learn to do karate. I start karate lessons tomorrow. My friend Jorge wants to take a dance class. He likes salsa. I don't want to do it. I can't dance. I'm tall and slim. I'm not dark. I have blue eyes and long blonde hair. I'm not tall. I'm short. I don't have blonde hair. I have dark hair. 
I'm big and heavy. I'm tall and I have short dark hair and a big nose. I smile a lot. I'm tall and dark with brown eyes. I'm 79 today. I think I look young, but I have gray hair. So, Alex, let's meet at the coffee shop in the park. What do you look like? Well, Maria, let me see. I'm tall and heavy. I have short dark hair and a big nose. Is your hair blonde? No, it's dark. I have brown hair, but I have blue eyes. I don't have dark hair. My hair is long and blonde. I have blue eyes, too. Are you tall? Not really. I'm short, but not very short. I'm slim, not heavy. I have a small nose. That's a good description. See you at the coffee shop. Okay. See you there. Bye. Hi, my name's Juanita. Nice to meet you. I'm your new co-worker. I'm from Mexico City. How are you? My name is Dina. I'm a teacher. I teach Spanish. Spanish is my native language. I speak four languages. I'm from New York in the U.S. I'm American. I work in finance. You can see my profile online. I'm from Argentina. I'm a student. My major is English. I live in an apartment with my sister. She's a student, too. My name is Ben. I live in London in an apartment with my friends. I work in the city. I speak French and German. Hi, Lucia. You're early today. Yes, I'm very busy today, Mark. I start work at 7 a.m. I usually go to work at 9. I always go to work at 7.30 a.m. Do you take a shower and eat breakfast every morning? I always take a shower, and I sometimes have breakfast. I never drink coffee. I take a shower in the evening. In the morning, I eat breakfast and drink tea. What time do you get up? I usually get up at 6 a.m. Sometimes it's at 6.30 a.m. What about you? I usually get up at 7 a.m., not today. What time do you finish work today? Let's see a movie. I finish at 5 p.m., but I'm not sure about a movie. Let's go to a restaurant for dinner. How about that new cafe? Okay, 5.30 at the cafe. Is that okay? <laughs> yes, of course. See you there. Hi, I'm Gael. I'm a student at this college. Nice to meet you. Are you a new student? Hi, my name's Dana. Yes, that's right. I'm new here. It's my first year. I'm Colombian, from Bogota. Where are you from? Are you Brazilian? No, I'm not. I'm from Peru. But I live in a new apartment here in Mexico City now. Do you live in the city? No, I don't. I live in a big house in the country with my parents. What are your majors? My major is business studies, and I study English, too. Really? My major is law, and I also study English. Do you come to college every day? No, I don't. I come on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
I also work in a cafe in the park, and I work on the weekend too. Wow, you're very busy. I come to college every day, and on the weekend I see my friends. Hi, I want to go to the park. Is it near the bus station? Go straight ahead, and the hotel is across from the museum. Wait, I want to stop at the ATM. It's next to the bookstore. I'm hungry. Let's go to a restaurant or a cafe. There's a cafe on the corner. Let's get a coffee. Hi, Jane. Let's do something fun this weekend. Okay, Tom. How about Saturday? I'm free on Saturday in the afternoon, but not on Sunday. Great. Let's go to the beach for a swim in the ocean. I don't want to go for a walk again or go to a museum. It's not sunny. I don't want to go when it's rainy or cloudy. Hmm. You're right. It's windy too. Can you dance salsa? There's a class in the park. Sure. I can dance. We can go out to eat after. Let's get some pizza. I don't like pizza. There's pasta and salads too. Okay, let's meet at the bus stop at twelve o'clock. Let's make it twelve thirty or one o'clock. Okay, one o'clock. See you then. What do you want to do today, Sam? I'm bored. I don't want to go for a walk or stay at home. Let's go to a museum. Oh no, Tina! I don't want to go to a museum on Saturday. How about the beach? You can bring your guitar or some books. I can make some sandwiches to eat. No, it's cold and cloudy today. Do you want to try that salsa class in town? Or how about listening to some music in the park, or doing a karate class? Not karate. I'm tired. I don't want to do that. Salsa is fun. Where is it? How do I get there? It's near the train station. Come out of the station and turn left at the end of the street. The salsa dance class is near the bookstore. Okay, great. What time does the class start? The class starts at two o'clock, so let's meet at twelve thirty. The class is only for one hour. It finishes at three o'clock. We can see a movie after or go for coffee. Let's go for pizza. Dancing makes me hungry. Me too.